Five local families are fighting to find permanent housing after their Section 8 assistance was cut off by the county. Now, the county says they broke the rules. The families claim they did not receive a fair hearing. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live in downtown tonight as they face being homeless for the holidays. Carlos? You know, among the five women listed in this lawsuit is a Bakersfield mother of seven who recently found temporary housing inside the living room of a friend's home. Over the last few weeks, this Bakersfield mother, who did not want to be identified, has worked hard to come up with the right words to explain to her children why they are suddenly homeless. My baby not going to school no more. He always asks me, where we go? Where we going to have our own house? The woman is part of a lawsuit against the housing authority of the county of Kern. It was recently filed after four other families also had their Section 8 housing vouchers terminated. It's hard because, I mean, I have some good kids, you know. I'm a good person, too. In a letter to the woman, the housing authority said they plan to terminate her housing assistance. During her hearing, the housing authority claimed the Bakersfield mother allowed a second person on the lease, a clear violation of the federal Section 8 housing choice voucher program. I would never jeopardize my Section 8 for no Nobody because that's me and my kids' place of living, you know. Now her options may be limited. They were never given a chance to, to really defend themselves. So once they were terminated, given these notices, even if they requested this informal hearing, it was just for to go through the process, but they were never really going to be given an opportunity. Roughly 3,000 people in Kern County are on Section 8, and many more are on the list to receive help. The only rules are to pay the rent, follow the program guidelines, and report any changes. Our philosophy is we have over 12,000 families on our wait list, uh, and if somebody who doesn't comply with program requirements, we can use that voucher and give it to somebody who will comply with the program. Although leaders with the Housing Authority cannot comment on any specific case, they do say people terminated from the program can regain access down the road. If they're terminated from the program, there's a minimum of three years um, before they could come back uh, onto the wait list. Uh, but the bigger problem with Section 8 is our wait list is um, so lengthy um, participants could be on the list for five years or more. October 2012 was the very last time the Housing Authority opened its waiting list. In the meantime, the Greater Bakersfield Legal Assistant, that's the group that's representing these families, are currently looking for court dates and a possible trial date by next year. Back to you.